The people who run our pension super fund want to invest the money in an expensive light rail network for Auckland. They want to build and operate tram lines to the airport and the city's west. But not everyone is convinced it's a good investment, Isabel Ewing reports. Light rail to the Auckland airport was meant to be a decade away, but it could be happening sooner, thanks to a surprise investor, the fund that will one day pay for many of us to get the pension. In transport infrastructure, urban development, housing, um, public-private collaboration is a marriage made in heaven. The super fund came up with the idea and approached the government, suggesting it take on the $6 billion project. It wants to partner with a Canadian fund that's done the same thing in Montreal, saying it considers it to be an infrastructure project of sufficient scale and significance to be an attractive prospect for investment. But Councillor Mike Lee, who used to sit on the board of Auckland Transport, is not so sure. Tramway down Dominion Road may suit, suit developers along Dominion Road, but it certainly ain't going to suit airport travellers. The proposal is for two light rail lines. The first will run from Britomart to the airport, travelling down Dominion Road, through Mount Roskill and Onehunga. The second will be a north-west line, running from the CBD in parallel with the Northwestern Motorway to Westgate and eventually Kumu. This is the daily reality for commuters on the Northwestern Motorway. It's just 3.30 and it's already congested. The government says that the light rail network will be able to carry 11,000 commuters an hour and that's the equivalent of four lanes of motorway. It will be a fail. It, light rail will be too slow, there will be 22 stops. So will people use it? There's a connection from here to, to, to Britomar and then from Britomar to North Shore, yeah, definitely. But if it's cheaper and it does save gas, then why not? A similar project in Sydney shows just how risky big transport projects can be. A $2 billion light rail project from the waterfront along its version of Queen Street to the outer suburbs has been struck down by delays and cost overruns, with one subcontractor taking the New South Wales government to court. But public transport advocate Matt Lowry says we can learn from their mistakes. It's good that it's happening there and it hasn't happened here yet, obviously, but we need to learn from those lessons so it doesn't happen here because we don't want the same situations occurring. One economist we spoke to said it would be good to see New Zealand capital being spent on a New Zealand asset. But there's no such thing as a free lunch and the New Zealand Super Fund will be wanting to make money out of the venture. Isabel Ewing, NewsHub.